Hello everyone, we're here again at Acorn on the Tuesday Affordable. Um, it's a good turnout today, 20 odd, 20 odd anglers, so that gives us, you know, that means we can peg it all the way around and it's quite evenly pegged. Um, the downside today for me is that um, there's been some good anglers turn up, namely the likes of Des Ship, um, and they've drawn well, so that puts the rest of us under a lot of pressure to try and get in the frame when the top anglers are on the top pegs it's hard work so i'm trying to work out what's best to do today i'm on peg 15 which can produce on the day although down this back straight where 15 is hasn't been producing quite the weights that it can and as you can see i don't know if you're picking up on the camera there but there's a bit of a wind across it already and the wind is due to pick up later on and this straight can be quite treacherous when the wind picks up so I'm not sure what's going to be best for me to do today. Um, I could attack the silvers, but then there's, you know, there's some of the regular guys that fish for silvers on here have actually drawn the better silver pegs as well. So all ends up, I don't feel like I know what to do for the best. So I'm going to have to, while I'm setting up, have a good think about it and see if I can come up with a plan. I feel like if I go too, too much sort of half of this and half of that, I might end up with half or nothing. Um, I don't feel like there's, you know, it'd be a gamble to go for carp because there's not enough carp on this peg perhaps to beat beat the islands and the other pegs, uh, sort of 9 and 11. Or if I go for silvers, I feel like there's not enough silvers on this peg to beat sort of 22 and 40. So we'll see. I'm trying to be positive. You never know, you know. I've won off, I've won off bad pegs before. We just have to uh, go with it and this will be one of them days, you know. It's, it's not an expensive match to fish and I'll enjoy my days fishing, that's for sure. Right everyone, literally minutes before the all in. I haven't set up a long pole to fish over because it was blowing quite hard when we got here and the weather forecast is that it's going to blow hard and look at the moment, it's like a mill pond really. I can fish over no problem, so I'm hoping I haven't made a mistake there. Some ground bait, some expanders, some dead reds and some uh, live reds that are floating there for down the middle for the silver. So I've got some. Um, hard pellets in here as well. Sixes, eights, um, ex trusty expanders. So the plan is, I'm going to start over on the method, which I'm trying to look at the camera where it is, about here somewhere. And then I've got two lines down the middle, one there, one there. One I'm going to put micros in, one I'm going to put ground bait on. Ground bait and maggots, just micros. Try and catch whatever I can later on and then I've got margin line here approximately here same rig approximately here for hard pellets on both of those for hard pellets at the bottom of the slope and then I've got the line plumbed in right under the platform literally on my fingertip there for late on or if I'm struggling or whatever I might put a little bit of ground bait in up against that post and expand it and just see if I can nick something really really tight to that platform that's the plan. So really, it's a bit of a gamble. I'm going to go in with the method. I'm going to start with ground bait and maggot, so I catch everything. And then if that's not working, I might put some pellet in. And then we'll go from there. Oh, look at that. Good timing. See you in a bit. Right, guys. About ten minutes in. When I first chuck over there, I had a really, really small um, stocky, less than a pound, sort of two to the pan, half a pan, maybe three to the pan. Second chuck, nothing, but it was a bit short. This, I weren't happy with it. This is my third chuck in the first 10 minutes, and this is a carp, slightly better stamp, I'd say. And the smaller, sort of two or three pounders by the feel of the way he's sort of fighting crazy. And <clears throat> only person I've seen catch anything of any consequence so far is Des. Des has been playing something for a while, whether he's on light elastic or whether he's stalked a big fish, I don't know. I think they just seemed put it in the net, it didn't seem like it was too big, but you know, he's, he's, he's fishing for all sorts of silvers and all sorts. As you can see, it's just started raining as well. So, it's all good fun, I'm taking my time with him. I could probably pull him up if I want, but what's the rush? Let's get him in the net. It's bigger than I thought he was, but he's just went straight into me landing net, thank you very much. See him there, he's got uh... Wow, he seems to stay still, doesn't he? Sp 
spinning round he thinks he's an eel. Yeah, I've got a five pounder, four pounder. I'm going to put five pound because with that little half a pound car that's in there already, it's probably what I'm going to be close to. Catch you again soon, guys. Well, guys, an hour and a half in. Not had anything that's been worth filming after, since that carp that we had earlier. Um, fishing over with the method, I did have a skimmer, another, a little tench, and I'd already had a little tiny stocky before I filmed the carp. But then after an hour, that kind of faded and didn't have much success on the method at all. So I've come off it for half an hour. I've gone over my uh, two fed lines down the middle. I've picked up odd fish off each line. But only small ones, little, little, um, little tents, little bars or so tents I've had off both lines. Neither, neither, neither particularly performing very well. So I've just given them a light little top up each and gone back over on the tip. Just had a couple. I'm having a couple of liners. Seems like the guys on the island are doing okay, particularly Des on five, he seems to be in and out like a yo-yo, but I'm assuming he's having he's he's fishing a catch anything sort of approach. He's catching lots of silvers, small carp. Guy down on the peg 19's had a couple of lumps as well to my left. Guy on peg 11's caught a few, so a few fish coming out, but the guys either side of me are struggling like me as well, so. I don't feel like I'm doing too much wrong, I've just got to try not to do anything crazy, just keep at it. So that's the hour and a half update done, I'll catch you later hopefully when there's something more interesting to talk about. Right guys, it's the halfway point update, there's really nothing to talk about. Um, after I was over on the tip, I came off that because nothing picked up nothing, and I went down my two lines down the middle picked up a few odd skimmers and a few little tiny bar of soap tench again but absolutely nothing to speak of. All along straight here I've not seen anybody catching anything for the last hour and a half really. People are putting bait in left right and centre but they're not getting anywhere. The guys in the islands are absolutely punishing it, emptying it uh, in relative to us anyway. I can also see people catching sort of behind the guys in the island in the sort of high 30s to 40. So I think we're on a hide into nothing at the moment. I'm just sitting out on the feeder for another 20 minutes and then I'm probably going to have a lot down on these uh, pellet lines, these hard pellet lines short because if I'm going to do anything I've got to have a good run of fish late and I, the only place I can think of, if I can't catch over on the tip, I can't fish over there cause, with a pole because it's impossible as I suspected it would be. So the only real chance I've got of any sort of result is uh, catching on some hard pellet short for the last couple of hours but as nobody else has done any good on that I'm struggling to believe that I will be able to um, make it happen but we live in hope catch up soon
catching them on an expander. I'm going to put the pellets. And I'm having to put the pellets in through a little cup like this because I can't chuck, I can't throw accurately enough. And then what I'm doing is I'm feeding both swims. I've got a swim on the left and a swim on the right, and I haven't really fished the swim on the left yet. I don't know, I'm going to need somewhere to go if the fish stop on the right here, because at the moment I'm catching well on the right. In again to another one down that right hand side. That last fish I had, he went through the swim a bit and it slowed it down, so I tried my left margin for five minutes. Can't get a bite on it, even though I'm feeding it the same, it's the same depth, it's the same slope. It seems to be on this right hand side, is where they want to be. and I'm going to have to catch off it, so... But that went then as soon as we get the water. As soon as that pellet got to the bottom, something had it. for a minute or two and see if we can capture a, a live strike in because there seems to be a few fish down here so maybe we'll be able to hit one. Wind's blowing everything everywhere, which is lovely. It's making life really, really difficult. I'm moving them shots back down a bit, I'll move them up, see if I can catch the fish if they're dropping in. But... I'll try from eight, six, eight inches away if I can. I'm trying to hold the rig exactly where the pellets are dropping in. Slow it down the last few inches and then pulling the pole tip back because the wind's blowing the float away from me and off the line. I don't want that. I want everything to be right on the spot. There we are. That was 
what we needed, get it down to a really coming thick and fast at the moment, but I have to keep this up, I'm on for a good weight. We have to work my way back into the frame, but you know, these sort of things can just switch off. go. The left hand margin dried up a little. But I'm back. I've gone I've just had my first fish off this left off the left hand margin. So I'll give it a go. I've put some I've put some ground bait in tight to the next platform on the right as well. Because I was thinking if this if this uh, if these pellet lines now are, fi are finished I'm not going to catch any more on them, I need somewhere else to go, but I uh, thought I'd have a try down on this left hand one first, because another try on it, and I've just had the biggest fish of the day, it's definitely 10. Didn't film it unfortunately, didn't realise how big it was until it come to the surface. So I'm just having another little look now, I'm going to stick on these uh, pellet lines for another 5 or 10 minutes, and if I keep taking fish off them, I'm going to stick with it because they're big fish. I've got a uh, ground bait line to have a look at as well. But that's in the shallower water up against the platform, so it might not be as big a fish. But these are proper, these are the proper commons that you get here at Acorn, the proper commons that are a decent size. Just another bite there down on the left hand line. So the, the proper commons are the, are the big ones for some reason, the big fish in here are commons. Final fish of the day, much time left, is it on the left hand side? I'd like to give both the, um, the pellet lines a rest because I won't catch them off either, and then I've had to go down the, to the platform. I've had three or four fish from under that platform to my right and on the ground bait, but they've all been babbies. I'm not really heavy to the weight. Still sitting around about 50 pounds, 55 pounds, something like that. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trouble the framers today. It's going to be several weights over 100 pounds today, without a doubt. Fish on! And I feel like um, I missed a chance today. I don't know about these fish. They were there on this pellet. I need to get better at this pellet fishing. It's not a very big one. It might be a tench. It's fighting. It's weird. But going to weigh in anyway. Salvaged what was a terrible day with two hours to go. We had like five pounds in the bag, and now we've got. Yes, yeah, it's a tension. I thought it was just fine. Wait, let's find it. Ah, oh, a nice little tension to finish off the, the video on. It'd be nice if I hadn't tangled all my elastic up again. I've been experimenting with a way of doing my elastic, which I won't be doing because it doesn't work very well, as you can see. This tench is not appreciating it either, but it'll be alright in a minute. Oh my god. That's it, we got it. Right, here we are. That is my consolation prize. Just a little two and a half pound, maybe three pound tench. 